Hey guys, this is David from CodeRound.com. Uh, welcome to my Visual C# -sharp tutorial. Uh, in the following lessons, I will show you how to use different Windows Forms controls, such as text boxes, list boxes, uh, data grid views, buttons, and all sorts of stuff. So, uh, in this part, I'll show you how to use a text box with a button and a list box. So, open your or Visual Studio or Visual C Sharp Express depending on what you have create a new project name it uh, uh, Windows Applications Training and select the Windows Forms application template click on OK good so you just created a new project and uh, what you have here is your form so, uh, go to your toolbox, click on the text box control, and uh, drag the text box in your form. Also, add a button and a uh, list box. What we'll do is uh, let the user type something in the text box, and when we will click the button, we'll add that something to the list box. So. Double click the button to open the code view and now type listbox one dot items dot add textbox one dot text. So uh, what did we do? We added to the item string in the list box uh, the uh, text property of the text box. So press uh, the debug button or F5 and let's test our app hello and press the button and as you can see we successfully added hello to the list box and you can test it as much as you want because it will work now we will make uh, a length label that clears all the items in the list box. So drag the link label from the toolbox to your form and uh, double click it to open the code view. Uh, the link label works just like a button, only that it's a label underlined and uh, it's blue. And uh, now type list box one dot items dot clear. Press F5 to debug. Add a few items. And press the link label. And as you can see, we have cleared our list box. Let's make this useless application a little bit more comfortable. After you click the button, we'll make the text box empty itself. So text box one dot text equals double quotes double quotes and save and uh, debug your application again so try to add an item click the button and the text box automatically uh, cleared itself and the link label still works okay guys see you in the next part